Okay, another pediatric dosage calculation question. This one deals with the order of flagell, 200 milligrams every eight hours by mouth for seven days for uh, a five-year-old with C. diff colitis. Um, the five-year-old weighs 46 pounds. Uh, the label says 50 milligrams per 5 ml, and the dosage range is 30 milligrams per kilogram per day divided every eight hours. Um, and so... Um, let's start off, and then the question say how many milliliters would be given, is this a safe dose, why or why not, what is your action? So, um, the, uh, the initial order is the 200 milligrams, uh, and that's per dose every 8 hours, um, and you have a 5 year old weighing um, 46 pounds, so we need to convert that into um, kilograms by dividing by 2.2 so 46 divided by 2.2 we get 20.909090 so 20.9 kilograms and um, we're going to look at the dose range it tells me 30 milligrams per kilogram per day so it's not really a range this is the order so 30 milligrams per kilogram per day and it says in divided every eight hours, okay? So how many times does eight hours occur in a day? The answer is three. So, and the way to do that is eight times three, and you get 24. Um, so you have three eight-hour days, or three eight-hour shifts, basically. So this is a three ID, and that goes consistent with what was ordered, uh, which means that once I do this, so I can do this a number of ways. Then um, another video I showed you dividing by three at the end, you can actually divide by three now, and you can convert this to being 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose just by dividing by three. So all I did was divide by three, okay? Um, and so the 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose, we still gotta account for the patient's weight. So we have um, the 10 times the 20.9, and you're gonna get 209. Point oh nine oh nine oh nine, so twenty nine point one um, milligrams. Um, and notice that it says two hundred milligrams. So again, here's one of those things. It's kind of a gray area. You know, what do we do with that? Do I, uh, you know, do I hold the medication because it's above the two hundred milligrams? Is it close? That's something you need to verify with your instructor. Uh, in fact, if you know uh, the answer to that question, please comment. Um, so I can, you know, so we can pass that information on. And again, that may vary from hospital to hospital, from um, school to school. Um, but, you know, right now, because it's not exactly the 209 point or the, the 209, um, then um, we have to assume that this is not a safe dose. Um, but again, I could be wrong about that. Um, I'm more so showing you the math on this. So, uh, and then as far as uh, how many milliliters to administer, we have the 200 milligrams and it said it came 50 milligrams per 5 ml. Two hundred times five is a thousand divided by fifty and we would administer, if you are to administer it, 20 milliliters of this particular medication. I hope you found that helpful um, and again please comment if you know um, about uh, whether or not you would hold this medication or if you would actually administer it. Thank you.